Hi guys, it's Mary. Welcome back. Today I'm finally going to do this overview, tell you about it, use it, this palette from Wayne Goss. I know that I'm probably one of the last people you've seen review this and there's a reason for that. I don't like to jump the gun, even if it's going to get me more views, even if it might grow my channel. I want to use this more than once. I'm the kind of person that first impressions, and that's why we don't do first impressions here, guys. First impressions with me aren't always good. In fact, sometimes they're pretty bad. Had I done that, this would have got a sucky review because I went at this palette like it was any other palette and I took, actually, I took my brush. I took this one, the E55, and I went into that celestial shade and then swiped it across my lid. And if you do that, you're gonna be wearing glitter all or sparkles or whatever these are. You're gonna be wearing that. But if you take it in with your finger and you pat it on your lid, and you know, possibly Wayne said that, but, I watched his video when it was released. I have forgotten all about everything Wayne Goss said about this palette by the time I got this palette. So yeah, all right. So if you do that, you're gonna hate the palette. I'm gonna show you this look, maybe a couple more I don't know at this point yet, but let's get that going. So yeah, we're going to come right in here and I'm just going to pat this down and then just do this number. You know what I'm doing. You know from all of my videos that I am pushing up into my orbit. And uh, I got a new lens and <laughs> as you can tell by the aperture. It's real open to light. So I'm struggling again with the light, but even more than that, um, this goes in and out of focus when I throw things like mirrors, which you kind of need. <laughs> to do a get ready with me, you kind of need mirrors. <laughs> and so I keep having to look over there at the monitor and see, am I out of focus? Okay, now you guys know that I prefer, even though makeup artists around will tell you not to set your eye. I have not set my eye. It's just got primer on it. And you know the one I like is the Sigma 
little crayon thing. I'm just barely touching, patting this shadow on so you can see kind of the intensity of it. But for my eyes, that's a kind of a problem. I'm pushing down now, trying to get inside all my wrinkles. So on the other eye, I'm gonna take my hourglass setting powder and I'm gonna come over here and set my eye. That would make it a little more smooth so that I can blend this a little better. Note that the intensity is not going to be as much as the other eye, but it's totally worth it to me not to drag my 58-year-old lids all over the place trying to blend. Now I can drag across there. See how much easier that is for me? I'm not a makeup artist. I'm just an enthusiast um, who knows my face very well. So, you know, I'm doing the same thing. Patting, okay, just patting the color. Same thing I was doing over here but it's just gonna be so much easier for me to handle and smooth out because I used that setting powder on my eye first and these colors don't have any problem with uh, pigmentation, so it's not like I'm losing anything here. I'm gonna wipe that brush off. Now on my microfiber towel, you remember I told you with your nice goat hair brushes, don't go in the color switch. <laughs> just don't do that. Unless you just got money to burn. You don't want to tear that up. This is like your little friend. Hi, dear. <laughs> I'm going to take my Sydney Grace Drift eyeshadow and come up here, treating it like it's a Blanc Type by MAC and just kind of toning this down a little bit. She pigmented, ladies, okay? Still having problems because I didn't set that over there. Ugh. But I wanted you guys to see why I do that. <laughs> okay. Because I know we've got makeup artists galore out there saying don't do that. And I get why. But not on me. <laughs> I wanted to use all Wayne's brushes today, but he doesn't have a brush I own. Anyway, that will do what I want next. So I'm going to take this brushes from my Glitzy Fritzy Essential Eye Set, sold at Sigma. Thank you in advance if you decide to go get them. <laughs> I'm going to take this brush here. It is the E46. And I'm going to take this black, okay, right on the tip. And I'm going to be very careful. I'm going to push that into my lashes just to kind of make my lashes look even more va va me when I get mascara on. You guys also know I never do this. I never bring liner on top of my lids. And I would put on some mascara now and this is my daytime look. But now let's pretend that I've come home from my job where I was not allowed to wear the kind of makeup I usually wear. So let me take my Wayne Goss number 18 and I'm going to come into this shade right here and um, put this all over my lid. Now, if you're worried that that shadow wouldn't still be there when I got home from work, it's not been my experience that they don't still hang around hours later. So I'm just kind of bumping this a little. I've told you guys before, and I'll repeat it over and over again, this one's my favorite brush by Wayne. It's the number 20, and the reason is because it's so small. We're going to dip down into this black. This black is very dry, but it's pigmented, but not, I can't work with it pigmented. Okay, so you can kind of tell that a makeup artist made this palette. See, there it is, and you can kind of look at it and tell that it is dry, but see, here's a swatch and it hangs behind. So, see, I'm wiping that off with this microfiber towel and it's still there. It's not going anywhere if you put it on, uh, but because of its formulation, I feel like it's not so pigmented. If you're gonna work with black, I think you wanna kinda make sure that it's <laughs> not too out of control. So um, what I'm gonna do is just come right here on the outside and pat down and it's gonna create a little drama but nothing that looks like I was at work all day rubbing my eyes. Ta 
that back in and I'm just tapping around. And then what's left over, I'm just gonna kind of circle right in here and just wanna. back in with the number 16 and I'm just gonna kind of soften that up a little. I did not put any more black on the brush. I just am coming back up here now with what's left over. I really am not loving my right eye at all because I didn't set it first, but you know, I did that so you guys could see what happens when I don't. But when I get mascara and my glasses on, you'll never know that this is going on. So just concentrate on this eye, okay? All right, and again, just softly working that out. I'm just gonna take my pinky, because that's all I want of this. <laughs> and I'm going to come and show you that you could press it, okay, in the middle of your lid. Just a little spotlight of color. Mm -hmm. That's sophisticated. Kind of like um, Charlotte's is sophisticated. You would do that to, it just bumps it a notch, okay? But I actually like to use that shade wet. Now, if you use this shade just like I did, it's gonna stay right there. And you know, if you have hooded eyes or slightly hooding like mine, and as you blink through time, it's going to travel up in the wrinkles. But yesterday, just applying it like this, it didn't hit my face. If you attack this with a brush, you're gonna have a problem. <laughs> okay, so, so you don't wanna do that. I wanna come into this shade right here, and I'm gonna hit my inner corner. This is my Wayne Goss number 19. Just pop that right there in the corner. I'm just going to take my Wayne Goss fan brush, which is the original fan brush. <laughs> Isn't it awesome? You can't get this one no more. I don't know if the other one is this good or not, but I'm just gonna take that and plop, plop, right here. I kind of like this as a little highlight going on. Put it in your wrinkles and make sure that, <laughs> I'm just kidding. Anyway, it's just a little, a little glow. This is my eyeliner in Obsidian. I got this one and I gotta tell you, this is really creamy. And I'm going to come up here on my lid and just right on the outside, I'm going to bump that up a little bit and over here too, just a little. She's really creamy, guys. Okay. And then I'm going to come right here on the outside and I'm not in my waterline yet. Just kind of drawing right here on the outside and pulling out for a, a teeny weeny kitten wing but this formula is really good for what i just did do you want to do that do you want to smudge smooge if you want to smooge it's a good formula now i'm going to come right inside and you guys know I like to drag across, so I'm gonna start on the, at the tear duct and drag across, I'm hitting the top and the bottom. It's very creamy, does not hurt at all. Some pencils hurt. Some pencils are just too hard, the product, and, and it hurts, but this does not. Now, it ain't gonna stay there. <laughs> I'll just tell you that right now. In two hours, on the inner and the outer corner, it will be gone, okay? It's just gonna be gone. But in saying that, I, I wanna tell you that 
So is every eyeliner that I put in my waterline and my tie line, except for milk. So I can't really ding Wayne for that. I don't believe that this was made necessarily for this. But that's how I wear eyeliner, you guys know that. Now we're gonna do the thing I told you not to do, okay? We're gonna put that shade right there on a brush and put it on here. Don't just put that on a brush and swipe across your eye, you're gonna have a problem, girl. Okay, but I want it wet. Now, I realize that probably this is not the intended thing to do with this, but I wanna show you that it is gorgeous, takes it up a notch, and you can actually come across here and do this, and oh my goodness, it won't, it won't fall out if it's wet. Nyah, look at it, look! Mama, mama, like that? It's gorgeous. Now, while it's still a little damp, I'm gonna come in and get a little more. And I can pat that on there. Holy smokes, now we're at Mary level. It's makeup. Do you. I wanna put on some lipstick. And then we'll put my gloss back on. <laughs> As I've told you before, I like to take these two lip liners right here. And you can see one gets used more than the other because one fills and one just outlines. So I take the darker of the two and outline. And this is the perfect pencil for me because it's really creamy, but not so creamy that I go <laughs> across my face. You know what I'm talking about, right? It will let me build this line up. And a lot of times, this is all I wear, is the lip liner with a little gloss over it. I don't actually get into the lipstick, but I really do love the lipstick, so we'll do it both ways. Then I fill in with this one. Did I just do that backwards? This looks darker. <laughs> I need to pay more attention to what I'm doing. I think I just put the darker one <laughs> on the inside. Okay, no big deal. Who's calling me? Where is it? Oh, it's not a call, it's a text. It's, oh, it's Mel. As I'm filming this, her palette launched today. And I'm gonna take my lipstick, and I don't know what this one is. Back in with my gloss. I like this one the best, I think, because of the little sparkles. Can you see the sparkles? I love this. Mm, I love this lipstick. I texted Mel and said that I was filming to say hi. Hello! <laughs> oh, and she blew you a kiss too, okay? So, there you go. <laughs> I'm gonna do my mascara, I'm gonna fix my hair, and then I'm gonna come back and give you my thoughts. Okay, so here is my assessment. <laughs> Not that it really matters at this point because most of you who are gonna buy it have already purchased it. <laughs> the palette is very luxuriously built. I love that he is sticking with his branding. The brushes was the first thing that we saw, right? And that classic black Wayne Goss, numbers in white. It's a classic brush. It's a classic, beautiful, it's like Audrey Hepburn, right? It's classic, classic beauty. I'm all for that. It looks luxurious. It all matches. You can tell the collection belongs together. The palette itself is sleek. Does get a lot of fingerprints on it, but a lot of people aren't under lights like this. <laughs> you know, this is very comfortable in my hands. Look how far that goes back too. Looks and because I can bend this back like this, I feel like I can use this without accidentally getting into the shade, which you guys have seen me more than once. <laughs> ruin a palette, you know, just gouge it because I was trying to use the mirror and gouge the eyeshadow. So I, I really appreciate the little things, like how far back that goes so that I can hold this and do my makeup with it and preserve my shadows. The, the formula, guys, is here. They blend beautifully. This shade, this shade, and this shade are satiny kind of colors, and these two are matte. The black is one of these dry blacks that's not so pigmented that you can't work with it. It lets you build. That's the kind of black that I really like. 
think that you can build it easily and it's not too much. This palette is for neutral girl lovers. If you love neutrals, <laughs> I don't. <laughs> How many neutral eyes do you guys see me doing? It's always pretty much something with color, right? Now that, that could change down the road, maybe not before this expires, but it could change down the road that I will just absolutely love to wear neutrals. If you're that girl that you just quickly want to do what you do and you do that thing every single day, you got a lot of product here. This would be well worth your money and it's beautiful. For me, not so much. But as I said, you guys know how much I love color and I very rarely do this. If you are a makeup artist, this I would think I'm not, of course, but I would think that as a makeup artist, this would be your go-to. This would be your perfect palette to have in your kit because you can do pretty much anybody's makeup with this. And while I'm saying that, let's keep in mind what Wayne Goss is. Wayne Goss is a makeup artist. Really, I can only ding this based on color choices, not formula, just color choices. And like I said, it's because it's not my preference for shades. You guys are the best part of the Fritzy family if you didn't know that. And if you want your day to get better, you feel like you're not getting a blessing, like God's overlooking you, try being a blessing to somebody else. And if you do that, please don't go tell anybody you did it. Just do it, okay? From your heart, just do it. <laughs> and when you do, I'm sure that you feel much better. And until next time, love you, see ya. Bye, and I'm out. That is not how I roll. The way I roll is like this. Roll with it, baby. <laughs> I'm never gonna tell you the story that is associated with that song. But now let's pretend I'm a working girl and no, no, not, you know, oh no, 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 no. Just tap, just right there, just tap, just a little tap, just a little tap, tap, tappy, a little tap, tap, tap -a Darken that a little bit. Thank you, neighbors, for letting your dog out right now. They didn't get my memo. Hey, Wayne, come here. I'm not flying over there because, you know what? I'm afraid of the plane. Come over here. I'm not kidding. Do it. And you know I'm bold and can do that because Wayne ain't never going to see this. <laughs> so, Wayne, get your butt over here and do my makeup. <laughs> Show me how I'm supposed to do it. <laughs> oh, my gosh, can you imagine? Wayne got seeing this video for real though, he'd be like, what? Oh my gosh, what? <laughs> it's actually what, shade three or is it one? I always get confused on the back. Like, is it, are the numbers going the way they're, in? I don't know. It's too much for my brain. I'm just gonna take my Wayne Goss fan brush and I know that you can't get this one. <laughs> I think that it's too much for my maturity. <laughs> Who said I was mature? I'm not mature. I mean, anyway, that is a dirty word. Don't say that word about me. But the yeah. You've seen me do it before. You know how I like to do it. Okay. Oh, do you? What? You know how I like to do it. I love, love, love. I love the lip products. I love them. I love my Wayne Goss lips. It's like glass, glass. I'm being Britney Spears. Glass, glass. The mirror on the inside. I look how big your snodge looks when you do that. What? Ooh, wait, look, I look like objects appear larger than, let's face it, it really is that big. You guys know I wink all the time, but since this is a Wayne video, I should probably go, ah, or ah, or ah. That'd be kind of like bewitched, right? No, she went. <laughs> Just, I'm sorry, bye. <laughs>